What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here, still looking for a fantastic minimalist wallet. So I picked this up. It's made in China. Which means it's not that expensive. Look at this. Uh, this is one of the more typical minimalist wallet designs. And why I wanted this is to pick it up and try out, you know, one that is pretty inexpensive. You can see here we have a, a money clip. What I like about this is that it's large, but it's pretty flat. This little tang here doesn't stick up, cut into your pocket too much. Uh, we have kind of a brushed aluminum. It's not super heavy, but it definitely has some weight and then some plastic inner linings and they are screwed together with these little screws. Now in this box, we don't get any extra screws or the screwdriver, but you can see we have some pretty serious elastic on the side here. And then a couple of smaller elastic uh, str straps on the bottom. So things will go in and out one way. And then you have a little recess here where you can push things out. So what I really like about these things is that they are the size of a credit card, i.e. everything will fit in there and there will be no excess. And on top of that, because they are expandable, they will uh, you know, stay tight to keep everything, no matter how much or how little you have in there. So I've got a few credit cards here, right, like this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. And, and then I've got a bunch of business cards here. I'm gonna put those in there too. This is really what always hurt me is that Sometimes I would take a bunch of business cards for an event, pass a lot out, and then come home with a really loose wallet that everything was falling out of. And you can see they fit in there really nicely. And then we have, you've got to fold up your money in quarters for these types of wallets. You can see the money is too big for the wallet. Otherwise you got to fold it up in quarters like this and then put that in there. It's a little slippery because the aluminum is a little slippery, but it should stay, but it's not super grippy, right? The one thing I would like is a strap on the outside. I think I've got that solved on some uh, with some other materials that I have coming, but this is the way this comes. And like I said, it's not bad. It's pretty nice and it's very inexpensive. So this will work, man. You can see how big it is, not too big. And like I said, it seems as good as any of these other wallets that I've tried. You know, some of these are 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks, you know, so something in the $10 range like this, I think is pretty darn good. If you want to check this one out, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.